happy do you want to create wealth if you are someone who wants thinking in a dilemma should i continue my sip or should i stop it right now then this video is for you uh, good evening and this is ganeshan your millionaire coach and author of the book money leaks and thanks for watching this live video if you are watching a recorded version thanks for you too so today it's an interesting topic topic on hot topic i can say because all across the personal finance and investment journals this is the topic should you continue your sip and there are so many questions posed by people uh, should i continue because the returns are negative and this is what we are going to discuss today and uh, please share this video with your friends who had started this sip and who are in negative returns uh, please share this video with your friends so that they also know what it takes to invest in a mutual fund and because the returns are going to be huge so if the returns are huge the risk or the timeline is going to be big right so let's start this consider you are in a just few year, a few decades back uh, everybody used to buy uh, rice quantities and for example uh, let me share this example okay if the price is low you used to uh, buy in more so that you can sell it uh, when the price moves up so this is what will happen right uh, you, a couple of years back china has bought uh, so much they had stored so much of uh, oil crude oil because the price was very low it was around 30 35 dollars and because they they depended on they import lots of oil crude oil because they do, they don't have uh, much of the space they can't they don't have much of the resource to be exact so they bought lots of thing crude oil and when the price goes up they reduce the import duty so that their foreign exchange technically their deficit will come down during that time so they are buying a lot during when the price is low even at your home if any of a product is uh, for example if two is free for three products you will buy a lot just for make sure, making sure that the expiry date is for a year and you can use it over a period of year then this was uh, again it's a valid thing to do when it comes to mutual funds uh, even consider real estate and consider gold some of the people they invest a lot just because the kid their daughter is uh, maybe getting married after 15 years after 10 years thinking let me save whatever i'm having now i have heard a client who starts buying gold every month he used to take proton 1000 rupees and once it reaches uh, 5000 or 10000 he used to buy a gram of gold this is this is how india's india's people uh, most of the people they used to invest in a gold when the price is low and make sure anyway in 10 years it's going to rise right so the, why why should i not invest that is what people will think and consider investing in real estate most of the real estates uh, people will make re- returns only after 10 15 years it's a rare opportunity that you had invested in a place suddenly some of uh, uh, things are happening around that locality and you you make huge returns right so Uh, even in real estate it takes years but even in mutual funds let's come to the uh, today's topic sip is nothing but you are investing a portion a portion of your monthly salary or monthly income uh, month on month for a long time goal or short term goal if you're clear you are investing for your retirement which is uh, 20 30 years after and if you are clear your returns your investment is for your kids education which is again 10 to 15 years after and again if you're clear your investment is for your kids marriage which is probably 15 20 years ahead these are long term return long term uh, goals right so for these goals you can keep continuing keep investing if possible keep adding your money and these are the mutual funds which has done extremely well in the last 15 20 and even 25 years there are funds like uh, uti master share scheme which was launched in 1986 it's around 32 years and in the last 32 years it has given 14 14% of returns uh, one thing to note is that 14% is not year on year that should be clear so in a year it can be 15 20% or even 30% and uh, again after 2 years it can be uh, minus 5% that's how the returns vary but overall if it is for your retirement if you had started investing uh, even 5000 or 2000 from 1986 it, it it will be a huge amount because it is a compounded return and it's around 14% right so this is that is how mutual funds sip will work so if you're investing for a short portion in equity in 5 years you may be getting around 12 to 15% and if it is think of consider you are putting that money for next 15 years this is a rule which uh, some of the advisors some of the people uh, 
uh, if you google it you can find out also so rule of 15 into 15 into 15 investing 15000 for 15 years at 15% returns there is a chance of getting close to 1 crore your invested amount is somewhere close to just around 20 lakhs and just because of compounding your returns are 1 crore right if you want to create wealth this is the only way because it's difficult to uh, understand the stock market and invest directly in the stock market and make huge returns and it takes a lot of time and act time right so or else uh, you invest based on tips and you lose money and then you never come back to stock market and one easy way to participate in stock market is going other way around like investing in mutual funds because if you are investing in stock market it's like one one stock and it may go for a toss or it may go for a negative returns or management issue so much can happen in a stock and uh, you may lose money if you're not watching it regularly but if you are investing in a mutual fund it's damn sure not damn sure it's like mostly assured that people uh, small amounts there is a fund manager who takes care of funds to who takes choosing uh, stocks and again mutual fund is not only about uh, stock market equity funds there are funds which doesn't touch stock market again depending upon the goals only so if you have started an SIP and if it is a long-term goal of next three four years keep investing and if you have any doubts with related to SIP or why my fund is not performing just message me share this video with your friends let them also know why should they continue their SIP and how they can create wealth in the long term so it's a common rule if the fund is available at a very low value you buy more if the fund is available at a very high value uh, this is the where this is where you it's difficult for you to uh, uh, identify or keep watching and make a decision because everybody is working or uh, doing business let you do please do you what you want to do and this is something like fund managers and financial advisors like me will take care so this, this, is the, this is our job. So we will let you know why, when should you take your returns or when should you invest and when should you increase your investments. So that's how it works. So any queries with, and uh, depending upon mutual funds, your returns may be negative by 5% or uh, flat returns or even negative by 15, 20%. So don't worry, keep monitoring, check with your advisor before discontinuing your SIP and then don't worry, keep investing. So thanks for watching till now. Please share this video with your friends. Any queries with respect to uh, continuing your SIP or should I start SIP now or should I wait for some more time? Please message me or put down in the comment section. Thank you. Thanks for watching.